Hey guys, Izzy here, back with another Warframe video, and today we're gonna go over a Warframe that, in my opinion, doesn't get enough attention and it is often disregarded or underappreciated in teams, and that's Overon. We'll be talking about how I run my Overon and as to why I believe he is such an amazing Warframe and potentially a must have. But before we begin the video, I do want to say thank you guys so much for the amazing support that I've received throughout this time. Uh, I know I said this in the previous video, however, it's just crazy how much support I've actually received in the past couple of, of weeks or months, I can't really tell. And uh, yeah, I I've been putting a lot of effort into my videos and it really does show. And we're almost at 300 subscribers and that makes me really happy. Now, I know that that's not a lot, but for me, it is, and to know that people are watching my content and enjoying it just makes me feel really happy. And yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like. And if you're new and want to, and you actually end up enjoying the video, feel free to subscribe. It's free. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, let's just jump right into the video. Now, Overon is an incredible support healer Warframe that does multiple things that separate it from other supportive Warframes such as Wisp and Trinity. Overon offers healing over time while also grants an additive armor buff that scales off his power strength. He can also prevent itself and allies from being downed and provides a damage buff to them as well. Let's go over the, his abilities and how this is possible exactly. Overon's healing comes from his third ability, Renewal, and his armor buff comes from an interaction between his second ability, Hollow Grounds, and his third ability, Use One After The Other. While on Hollowed Grounds, allies affected by Renewal will gain the, the armor buff, and even if they weren't on Hollowed Grounds initially, if they are affected by Renewal, they will be granted the armor buff as soon as they touch grass. I, I mean, step on the Hollowed Grounds. Sorry. Anyway, as for preventing deaths, Renewal has an alchemy called Phoenix Renewal, which prevents anyone affected by Renewal from being downed. This does, however, have a cooldown, which means once you are prevented from being downed, you will see a 90 second cooldown on the top of your screen, which will let you know that if you, do, if you die before the cooldown ends, you will be downed. Now, 90 seconds might seem like a lot, however, with Overon's healing and armor buff, it's not really hard to stay alive and withstand punishment. As for the damage buff, Smite has an alchemy called Smite Infusion, in which it grants allies and Overon bonus radiation damage on your attacks, which now turns Overon from being just a healer to being an all-around supportive Warframe. Now, as mentioned previously, your power strength determines how much healing and armor you're providing to your team, so focusing on power strength is important. The effects of healing does not wear off so long as you still have energy, so having ways to maintain your energy are essential to keep the party healthy. Things like Hunter Adrenaline or Rage are very helpful to keep gaining energy and flow or prime flow if you have it is great to have so that you're able to have more energy capability as much as possible really also it's very important to note that renewal is a channeled ability meaning that energy regeneration from cinderic or outside sources of energy like energy pancakes or energy from trinity's abilities will not provide overall with energy while the ability is up which you will want to keep up as the ability once it does drop, it starts a timer to wear the effect off. This is my current build for Overon. As you can see, I have inserted an Umbral Forma on my Overon. Now, it isn't really needed. You can just run another mod such as regular Intensify rather than just Umbral Intensify, and it will still get the job done and pretty much just as efficiently to be honest. I'm just greedy, okay? Now, in all fairness, Overon is one of the frames these Umbro Formas would not go to waste due to how good the Umbro mods are on him, so running one or two is extremely good, really. I'm not running any duration mods nor any efficiency mods either. This is because while the drain is based on Overon's duration and efficiency, the difference it makes is very small, especially when you're running Rage or Hunter Adrenaline with Flow or Prime Flow. 
Now, you can definitely run Duration on Overon if you wish to keep Hollowed Grounds active for much longer. I typically only pop Hollowed Grounds on occasions, as usually you're pretty covered with his healing and his buff. I have also stacked as much power strength as possible, with the exception of Blind Rage, which is totally not maxed by choice, and not because I don't have enough endo to max it. <laughs> really. Uh, but anyways, really, at this rank, it's more than enough power strength however you can run it maxed if you'd like if you really wish to it still would work and you know like i said the efficiency or the negative efficiency it's not really going to bother you too too much at least not with this setup as for the arcanes i like to run energize and guardian however if you want a higher armor buff for your team you can run both Vigor over Guardian, but Energize is a very important arcane as it does ensure that your Overon keeps its energy up. This is what I run on my Overon on a regular basis. Whether this is Arbitration or Steel Path, it really works pretty well, honestly. However, I do have another build I like to use for not just Steel Path as well, but for Archon Hunts and Eidolon Hunts. This is the damage buffing Overon. It's pretty much identical to the prior build, however, it has a bit less power strength, but it more than makes up for it by providing the team with a juicy radiation damage buff to nearby allies on their attacks. I am also not running any duration here either, as the default duration is very decent for the Smite Alchemy, as the default range for it is 40 seconds on the buff. This build not only gives the team an insane buff to its damage to take down the Archon, but it also makes sure that the team is both healthy and doesn't go down. And yeah, it just saves it from one-shot mechanics, whether it be because of the Archon itself, maybe Steel Path, or, you know, Discord Party Sentience. As for the Arcanes, same applies here. If you want a higher buff to armor, and in this case, also to the damage, you can run Mold Vigor over Arcane Guardian. As for Helmet abilities, you can of course run Roar on him and go crazy with both Smite Augment and Roar. However, this is a bit too energy hungry for me, but of course, you can adjust the build to fit that strat, so, you know, go fucking wild, really. Now, the build that you would use is still the same one that's for the Argon Hunts. It's pretty straightforward and it fits for Roar, so it's pretty good for that. Now, if you don't want to invest in Umbral Forma or not much Forma at all on your Overon, I got you. These builds will do the job just fine and require no Forma at all, though it does require farming the mods still, of course. And that's that's it. That's Overon for you. Now, Overon is a pretty useful Warframe that can be used in pretty much any long endurance mission or very high level content of the game and shine within a squad and it's definitely a warframe that is worth having in your arsenal especially if you're like me and you like to play supportive warframes most of the time in the team i hope that with this video i shed a little bit of light on how amazing this warframe is as a as a supportive option not only for your team but also really good for solo runs if this video made you decide you wanted to try Overon out, let me know in the comments below. Or if you're an Overon enjoyer yourself already, let me know. Did I do well for our boy? Or did I let you guys down? Whatever it is, let me know. I like reading you guys in the comments to interact and such. And again, I want to thank you guys so much for the amazing support. We're almost at 300 subscribers. Again, it's just for me... I don't know, I, I, I feel like it's a lot. And while I know that for a lot of people, it might not be, it is for me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new and, you know, want more content like this. I hope I see you guys on the next one. Peace.